warm welcome to all of you. My name is Tom Jones and today I shall be showing you a demo on the AD Cell Service Plus application. Now AD Cell Service Plus is a secure web-based end user password reset management program. It allows the user to perform self-service password reset, self-service account unlock and also self-update their personal details in the Windows Active Directory and thus is the main feature of this application. Now on the AD Cell Service Plus homepage, you can see that on the left side, we have the forgot your password link where users who have forgotten their password can click on authenticate themselves and reset their password. Similarly, under that, we have the account lockdown link where users who have been locked out of their account due to various reasons can click on and authenticate themselves and unlock their account. Now one main thing before a user can do these actions is that they need to be enrolled into the AD Cell Service Plus with any of the authentication methods configured by the admin. Otherwise like this if I just click on forgot your password and type in the name of a user who hasn't been enrolled yet that is Oliver and continue and as you can see, I've received an error message that says you are required to enroll with security questions. Now, without enrolling, we cannot reset our password or unlock our account if needed. So that's why today I shall be showing you how we as the admin can auto enroll the users into the AD Cell Service Plus so that they can enjoy the benefits of the application. So let me just log into the AD Cell Service Plus as the admin. And as you can see, this application is already pre-configured with the domain AD360. Please note that whenever AD Cell Service Plus is initialized, it auto-discovers for the domains. So let me just head over to the configuration page. And on the left side, under administrative tools, we have the quick enrollment feature. Now here we can see four features. The first two being making the users enroll into the AD Cell Service Plus on their own and the last two being how the admin can enroll the users into the AD Cell Service Plus. So in this demo, I shall be covering only the last two features that is the admin enrollment or the auto enrollment. Now imagine if the administrator has a database or a CSV file which contains related data of the users such as employer ID, email ID, phone number, etc. In this case, he doesn't have to wait for the users to enroll themselves as not everyone will enroll immediately. Therefore, he can use either the CSV enrollment that is here or the database enrollment and enroll the users of the organization so that they will be able to use the reset password or unlock account features when it's utmost needed. So first, let me show you how the CSV enrollment is done. So let me just click on that. And here you can see that in the beginning, you have to select the policy. So I have only the 83 policy, so I'll just keep it as that. And here is where you choose what data are you importing into the AD Cell Service Plus related to the user. So I can choose question answer, mobile number, email ID, or without mobile number. And now I need to choose a file, which is a CSV file. But before which, I'll show you how a sample CSV file would look regarding these data. So let me just click on this. And you can see that the header of the CSV file will be SAM account name, question, answer, and mail. And the data should be accordingly kept under it. And now let me just choose a file. So I'll just click on this. And I have two CSV files. I'm going to click the first one. And now I will show you what that CSV file contains. So I'll just click on my notepad. And it has a SAM account, question, answer, and mail as a header. And the users are Harris. Oliver, Ross and Samantha and their respective question and answer and their mail ID. So I'll just click on enroll. And as you can see, they have been successfully enrolled. So I'll just go to the reports. And let me go to the enrollment reports under which the enrolled users report. And you can see the users who have just enrolled. They are Harris, Oliver, Ross and Samantha and accordingly the email IDs and also that if I just go to the security question answers report you can see that their security question answers are shown for which they have been enrolled for but of course the password is asterisk 
and that's how CSV environment works. Now we have another feature within the CSV environment and that is the auto scheduler. So let me just go to that page. And if you click on the schedule auto environment, you can see that no schedulers are available. So you need to create a new one and let me just click on schedule new auto enrollment. You just click on that and type in the scheduler name that is CSV auto enrollment. And I need to choose the policy. I'll choose that 83 SP as it's the only policy. And then now I need to choose what all data I'm importing. So I'll be importing the question, answer and the email ID. And now the CSV file path so that whenever the schedule takes place, the data will be fetched from this particular file. So I'll just copy that CSV file path and I'll take this in case if there's already any existing data and the scheduler will be running every day and you can choose it for weekly, monthly or hourly and I'll give the time as five o'clock in the morning and I'll click save. And as you can see, I've created a scheduler successfully for the auto enrollment of the CSV file. So every day at five o'clock in the morning, the scheduler will run and auto enroll the users mentioned in the CSV file I had given in the file path. And now I'm going to show you the next feature that is enrollment data from an external database. And this can be helpful because if the organization has already a database containing related data of the user such as employee ID, email ID, telephone number, etc. Then he can just connect the AD cell service plus to the database and import the necessary data into the application. So you can see that we support Oracle database, MySQL database and if I just click on add new data source, you can see we support MySQL as well. So first I need to connect the AD cell service plus to my table. So I'll just give a connection name that is external database one and the DB server is MySQL. The host name is my machine that is Tom2525 and the port that is 3306. The DB name of the database I already have is employees and username is root and let me just create this and I've successfully made the connection. Now let me just show you my database employees and the table it contains that is the users and it contains the users Harold, James and Scott with their respective mail and mobile number and also on the leftmost side you can see they have their employer ID as well. And next thing I have to do is add a fetcher for this database. So I'll just click on this and type in the fetcher name that is enrollment data fetcher and I need to choose a connection from the list of connections I've already made so that is only external database one and the policy to which the users will be imported that I have only one so that is 83 state cells and now here is where I mentioned what I'm going to import now note that in my database I have only the mobile number and the email ID so the question answer you can make it in such a way that it can be related to the user's private information such as what is your employer ID and you can query the employer ID from the table. Let me show you how. So the query I'm going to make is select employee name and the question is what is your employee ID question mark and the answer will be the employer ID of the user that will be queried from the table mobile from a mail from the table users and save and it's successfully added so I can either schedule it to happen at a particular time every day or I can just run it now itself so let me just run it and see what data does it pick it up and as you can see the data from my database have been fetched and that is the users Harold, James and Scott with their respective mobile number and their mail ID and the security question which they're going to be enrolled for is what is your employee ID and of course the answer is the employee ID which is hidden and I'll click update and as you can see they have been successfully enrolled so if I just go to the reports and go to enroll users report 
you can see the users Harold and James and Scott and if you go to the security question answers report you can see that what is your employee ID is there for Harold for James and for Scott so this is how the database enrollment works similarly just like CSV enrollment like I showed you you can auto schedule the enrollment to take place from the database according to your convenience so I have shown you how the auto enrollment works via CSV or via external database so let me just sign out and try resetting the password of the user Oliver this time so I'll type in the username Oliver and continue and remember that he was enrolled via the CSV enrollment and his favorite sport is football so let me just type that and type in the captcha that is R D S J P H and continue. And now he's on to the reset password page. Please note that on the top right we have the time left for this operation, which by default is five minutes. And if you do exceed it, the session will expire and we need to start all over again. Now I need to type a new password, keeping in mind these domain password policy requirements. And let me just type that. Let me just confirm that as well and type in the captcha that is I B G K A M and continue and the password has been reset successfully. So with this enrollment the user was able to reset his password and in case if the user gets locked out from his account he can unlock his account via the same enrollment. So that's how the admin can enroll the users into the AD Cell Service Plus by CSV or database enrollment. I hope this video was informative. Similarly, we have other resources, each explaining a specific feature of AD Cell Service Plus. So feel free to view them as well.